Hello kiddos, this is Mr. B, and this is the how-to for week 11, major 7th artwork. And this is going to be assigned for Monday, uh, the 15th of February for period 1, and this is Tuesday, February 16th uh, for period Five for those that are keeping score at home. So uh, this is ultimately what it looks like, but let's get into its formal construction and we'll talk a little bit more about what is happening this week in it. So in this week, we are week 11. And this is our uh, second to last week in trimester two. And this week we are covering the major seventh. And you want to make sure that the M is capitalized to signify major. And you can include your name and your period. Those are just critical to me, but they need to be there. That is uh, one item of your rubric points right there. Uh, then... You're going to draw your pitch space class wheel, but you're going to do it a little differently this week. And there's something a little bit counterintuitively about this, but it's also counterclockwise. Uh, so that is the shape we're going with. And even though the notes, as we ascend, as we go up, um, the pitch becomes higher, the wavelength becomes shorter. Um, technically, you're going kind of higher up on the pine tree. But for right now, this is going to kind of have to settle as, as an acceptable model. So we're going to start here, and you're going to label inside here as C3 and inside here as C4. This is P1. This is your tonic. This is P8. That is the octave, one octave higher. We're going to go ahead and still segment the wheel like we normally would into 12 segments trying to apply that clock face. So C3, this would then be C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and B. Now, uh, the topic again for this week is that a major seventh is 11 half steps okay it's 11 half steps the interval from c3 to b3 is a major seven Okay. Now, the other thing that we're going to attend to today is something called an inversion. And this right here would be this week's topic, an inversion. Um, the interval from, uh, this would be B3. From B3 to C4 is a minor second. This is the inversion of a major seventh. So this is to show you that a the, the distance from B3 going up to C4 is a minor second interval. Okay, that's all it's saying. But it's the inverse of this first one that we talked about. So the first thing that we're talking about is that here is our minor second. From the tonic of C3, there's our minor second. Here's our major second. Here's our minor third. Here's our major third. Perfect fourth tritone, Batman. 
perfect fifth, minor sixth, major sixth, minor seven, major seven. Okay? And so, just to give it kind of a flower, you feel here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, again, a major seventh is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven half steps. <clears throat> and it's from C3 to B3. Now, when I go from B3 up to C3, C4, rather, that is its inversion. One, two, three, four, five lines on the staff. We're going to go ahead and write our ledger line in here right away because we're going to need it. We're drawing our treble. Left, there's our staff. This week we are doing our work in, in fact, 6-8. And we're going to go ahead and use eighth notes just so you see that reference to things. And I kind of feel like I'm a little farther over, so I'll come over here. A little bit there. And our notes this week, we're going to start again with our middle C. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a B. And we're going to use another B. And then we're going to use a C. And remembering again that we have F. A, C, E, and then G, B, D is a way of finding that pattern that's going to repeat again after E comes F, right? Um, I, I, so, you know, you get kind of the idea there. Um, so this, again, is our C. That's our middle C. And again, that's C3 on the iPad. This is getting one, two, three in terms of count, four, five, six in terms of count. So we're going to make these notes nice and solid. And we're going to put some stems on them. And we're going to make these eighth notes. So this is a quarter note. It has two eighth notes in it. This is an eighth note. Our system is based on eighth notes this time. Um, here is a quarter note. A quarter note has two eighth notes inside of it. Here's one eighth note. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, six eighth notes. And that's essentially what we're working with this week for our art. Thank you very much. See you in class.